Here's me again with a random spontaneous video idea. I'm going to film a daily vlog. And this is also going to be a reading vlog. I want to read a book today from LJ Shen. Um, let me put the camera down. Yes, I'm in my pajamas. Um, I just got back from Woolworths. I went and did some food shopping. No, I didn't do it in my fucking pajamas. I changed out of my pajamas just to go and do it and then put them back on when I got home. Anyway. I want to read LJ Shen's new book. There's a lot of controversy around LJ Shen. I know, I know. Um, and I'm so curious about her and her books because she's so fucking popular. And I have read one, two, two of her books and I thought they were okay. And then I tried to read The Villain and I DNF'd that. And I just feel like every book that I try to read from her, I just don't get into. So I want to try The Devil Wears Black. Um, and if this doesn't work for me, then I'm not into LJ Shen's writing. I just want to know what all the hype is about. And it's going to be just really interesting. Anyway, there's a few things I need to do this morning. I'm going to cook tacos. It's 10 o'clock in the morning and I'm cooking tacos for dinner. I'm going to do it now so we can just eat it later. Um... I don't cook ever. It's not because I don't know how to cook. It's the fact that I don't like cooking, but I just feel like doing something nice for my BF because he always cooks and he's made it pretty obvious lately that he's super tired and doesn't want to keep cooking on his own. So I'm doing it now. Anyway, I went to Woolies before. So we're doing like a grocery haul. Get fucked. This is so weird. This is not me, hun. Anyway, let me show you what I got. Donuts, cinnamon donuts, because I felt like them. And I am the biggest sweet tooth you'll ever come across in your life. Like, I would eat sugar on its own if I could. Like, this is why I'm not a size 6 and I'm a size 12. It's because I'm a fat bitch that loves sugar. So, yum. <laughs> Cigarettes that cost me an arm and a leg. Coffee. I drink these, like, cappuccino sachet things because they're just yum. I'm trying to not... <laughs> Drink these at the moment because they're full of fucking sugar and I'm trying to cut down my sugar intake. So I've just been drinking instant coffee. Oh, but I really feel like one of these today. Tomatoes. Yum. Red onion hun. The best. Oh, another tomato. Cucumber. This is a fucking huge cucumber. This was only a dollar. Like, stop. A dollar? Like, cool. I got two things of um, pork veal mince because that's what we're having in our tacos but i got two of them because i don't know if one's going to be enough so whatever i'm just going to cook them both up milk because it's essential and orange and mango juice because i don't drink water i drink juice <laughs> i know it's really bad but i'm just it's got no flavor and you can't fucking tell me that water tastes nice it tastes like pipes it tastes like it doesn't matter where i am I can just taste metal in water and it's disgusting. That's my little grocery haul. I wish I filmed this earlier on in the day. I did get up at 6.30, but I was fucking exhausted. So I ended up going back to sleep and waking up at 9.30. Um, but yeah, I'm going to make a coffee and I've got to check my emails and send off some stuff to a brand and then we'll start reading. It's been like two hours. I've already freaking cooked the tacos. I didn't even show you, but whatever. I need to do some work. Um, I'm filming a Princess Polly haul, which will go up before... Well, I've already filmed it. It will go up before this does, so I can talk about it. And I just sent everything to Princess Polly to get approval. So uh, they like everything I've done, so I just need to fix one little thing on the video and then it can go live which is awesome and then we'll get into the reading i haven't even been able to read yet it's one uh, quarter past one so there we go also i wanted to show you something all right this is a little sneak peek you guys know i'm coming out with merch if you don't know then i'm coming out with merch um i got like one of the stickers in the mail. So I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like. There is one of the stickers. I do have um, more stickers that I've made as well. Um, this one's like the big one. It's quite large actually. Um, but the smaller one just says sick and twisted and it's like cut around sick and twisted. So that'll be really cool to put on like your phone cover or like if you wanna stick it on your laptop or whatever you wanna do. I also got um, a t-shirt with the STB branding like little thing, but I don't like it. So I've gotta go on the website sometime today and fix up the t-shirt. I'm doing um, the 
merch through like a merch company so it's not like an actual brand i wish i could do it that way but i'm just not that organized and i don't have enough money to start up a fucking clothing brand i'm waiting for some more samples they should arrive today and yeah i'll make sure they go live really soon the first drop will only have like a few things in it um it won't be too crazy i want to do like four items there's a phone case a jumper two stickers and the t-shirt which i might remove because i don't really like it um and then in probably a month or two i want to do like every two months maybe drop something new i'm all, already uh working on new designs for some t-shirts and stuff like that so yeah it's just gonna be really hard to try and price them because the website automatically prices it i don't get all the profit obviously because it's through a merchandise company um but i need to make the prices decent enough so i get profit does that make sense um and it's hard because i'm trying to make it as uh, affordable as possible um but yeah if when i do it that way i don't get a lot of money so that's why i'm doing like stickers and stuff so if people can't afford like the jumpers and that they can get stickers oh. This is my life at the moment. I'm doing like so many things like with the merch and doing like other content for brands and stuff. I'm finding it really hard to balance my time out and I'm finding it really fucking hard to like um, read. <laughs> and it's making it really sad because I was punching. I made a mistake last year. I made a mistake by posting so many recommendation videos one after another. Because now I've got like no book recs, um, which is annoying as fuck. But anyway. Bitches, change of plans. I look like shit. But I was meant to start reading fucking that LJ Shen book and I've changed my mind because Twisted Cravings is out. Which means today's vlog, today's reading vlog, we I'm hot and sweaty because I'm flustered. We're reading Twisted Fucking Cravings, the last installment of the Kamora Chronicles. Bitch, let me just buy it and start reading and i'll update you guys okay all right so i want to give you guys an update i'm 10 percent into twisted cravings and so far i'm really really enjoying it i am a little bit disappointed because it's set after adam marie comes back from new york city which i was hoping this book would include his time in new york city with luca uh, but that's not the case. He's not in New York City. He's back in Las Vegas. And it's kind of cool because it has like this car racing, like drag racing um, situation going on. And yeah, I don't know. I'm excited. As I said, I'm a little bit disappointed that it's not set in New York and it's set in Las Vegas, but that's okay. But he's just at like, um, he's at Nevio and Greta's seventh birthday party. So there's seven in this book. And there's like little conversations between the kids and the parents. And I feel like it's like setting up the next series because I know Cora is writing the next generation this year. So um, she starts releasing them this year and all the kids get their own books. And I'm really excited about that. I think it's called, the series will be called um, The Sins of my, Our Fathers or The Sins of My Father or something like that, which would be super cool. And um, yeah, there's some like character development in this book with the kids. I'm excited. I wonder where this book's going to go. As I said, I'm only 10% in. Um, it's so good to be back in this world though. I missed the Mafia so much. Like this is my favorite Mafia series ever. I haven't read Mafia books in so long because these, like the Kimura Chronicles and Born in Blood are my favorite. And I feel like Cora writes the best Mafia romances. So I'm excited to be back in this world. And so far it's been so good. I can't wait to see what happens. And it's so exciting seeing like the kids growing up. Oh my God, it makes me so excited. So I'm 41% into Twisted Cravings and wow this is dark this is dark for a minute i thought i wasn't into it to be honest it's got a lot of like car racing in it and that's not really my vibe and i just wasn't really getting a lot of the mafia feel but now that the plot's kind of unfolding it feels more mafia related and Remo and Nino and all the other characters from the Kimura Chronicles are really present in the book now and it's really good. I really like it. Um, I'm surprised because the last probably two books that I've read from Cora I wasn't a fan of. Um, 
and I feel like this is a really good addition to the series, 100%. I'm really excited to see where this goes. As I said, it's super dark. Um, there was just like a scene to do with the love interest's past. And oh my God, dude, like, oh my God. It was hard to read. Um, I'm surprised. I don't think there was a trigger warning. I don't think there was. There definitely needs to be. Or maybe there is one, but I just didn't see it. But yeah, um, trigger warning, sexual abuse with minors and stuff like that. So yeah, so far it's pretty intense and it's picking up now at 42%. A little bit slower than what I wanted, but that's okay. Um, I'll check in with you guys later. I don't, it's 8.30 now <clears throat> at night. I don't know if I'm gonna finish this tonight. I have work tomorrow too. So if I don't finish it tonight, I'll read it tomorrow in the morning and on my lunch break at work and try and finish it tomorrow and then update you guys when I finish work or when I finish the book. So yeah, so far, so good. Okay, so I think it's time that I jump on camera and finish up this reading vlog. Didn't really update you guys much last night because I was honestly into the book so much. I just went down the street before, so I just want to show you what I got. I'm doing a giveaway over on my Facebook group. So I had to get a few things for the little giveaway, like the envelopes to send things away and little cards so I can write thank you notes, um, permanent marker for the thank you notes. And it's St. Patrick's Day tomorrow, and I have to wear something green at work, so I bought green scrunchies. Um, if you wanted to know, and if you wanted to jump on quickly to join the giveaway, I'm giving away this book here, Unconditional, by QB Tyler, because she actually sent me a copy of this signed the other day, so I thought, give this to one of you bitches. I bought this from Amazon like a few weeks ago, and it finally came. It's a emotional thesaurus for writers. I am writing for those that don't know, um, but I want to do some like research and stuff because I'm really happy with what I've written so far, but it just needs like some tweaking and I definitely need to um, learn how to write people's emotions a little bit better because I tend to like use the same like words and stuff over and over again for each character and I want to try and make them like specifically different if that makes sense. Anyway, let's wrap up my thoughts on Twisted Cravings. Absolutely loved it. At first I thought it was a little slow. To be honest, I thought, um, you know, I wasn't really into the whole racing aspect of the book. Um, but once like Remo and Nino and like the Kamora gang appeared, I really got into it. I really loved the love interest. For Adamo, I reckon she was brilliant and I loved the whole aspect of her being um, the daughter of uh, the head boss for the Russian brat bar. I thought that was a super cool twist. She was very um, strong and I don't know, she was a strong heroine and she fought hard and um, she wasn't like a pussy or anything that we've seen before in any of Cora's books. So that's super cool. I really liked how she wrote in the Bratva into the book as well. And I kind of feel like she should do like a series on the Russian Bratva because I really enjoyed how she painted them and um, the whole storyline behind them in the book. I must admit this book was pretty fucking dark. Um, so trigger warning for sexual abuse and stuff like that, especially with minors. Um, but I really enjoyed it. And even the little snippets of the family, like the kids, I just feel like it set up the future for the next generation. And yeah, I did like it. And I did like what she did with Adamo as a character. I kind of wished... The book, I've said this already, but I wish the book was set when he was in New York and you got to see him turn from being like that soft character that he was into the like brutal character that he became. Um, and that was a shame that we didn't get to see him like kind of work with Luca and the mob in New York. But look, you win some, you lose some. Overall, I was quite happy with um, the outcome of the book and the ending and stuff like that. It was kind of bittersweet because it's like the ending of the Kimura Chronicles, which is one of my favorite series I've ever read. Um, so I was really emotional when I finished it last night. I stayed up till two o'clock last night to finish it. So I'm exhausted. So that's it for the vlog. Super random. Don't know if you guys enjoyed this. If you did, let me know in the comments below. I'm going to go read. I've already started a new Mafia series and I can't wait to just devour it. 
Um, now that I've read Twisted Cravings, it's like sparked my obsession with mafia again. So yeah, we'll see how we go. Um, again, thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Have a good day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.